school bus drivers have a number of rules and regulations to remember and understand whenever they are transporting students. For example, the pre-trip inspection ensures that the bus is in good working condition. Defensive driving skills identify how a bus driver transports their precious cargo to school and home safely. Another key consideration is the use of lights on the school bus. Lights on the bus are used to control traffic. Each time a school bus stops, approaches, or leaves a loading zone, the driver must engage their lights to warn motorists of the actions of the bus. Normally, the bus will repeat the exact same pattern of using amber and red lights when approaching a loading zone. However, there are a number of exceptions to consider when using the amber and red flashing warning light systems. In this short video, we will cover these exceptions and explain in detail why these exceptions exist. Also, make sure you understand these exceptions, and please remember that these exceptions may be interpreted differently from district to district, so it's important to take the time to understand the policies of your school district. If you have any questions, contact your supervisor and get a heads up on these policies. As a school bus driver, you must understand the importance of the correct use of warning and stop lights. Let's examine this issue. The amber lights warn vehicles and students that the bus will be stopping. The red flashing lights and stop signs on the bus are used to control and stop traffic when students need to load or unload the bus. The lights on the bus and their uses are essential for the safety of students. However, there are instances when it is critically important not to activate the lights on the school bus. This is where the exceptions come in. Here are a few examples to consider. Notice the driver of this bus at a typical bus stop. Her flashing red lights are not activated. Can you see why? Or take a look at this. This driver pulls up to a stop to pick up students on this rural highway, but they do not engage any of their warning or stop lights when doing so. Can you see the reasoning for this? And notice this bus has broken down. A relief bus driver comes to pick up the students who need to switch buses to continue getting home. So now the lights should be engaged, right? Wrong. So let's take a look at these exceptions and investigate the reasoning for them. 